participants in the year-long Mars isolation study have returned, and you can apply for the next one taking place next year. Right now, NASA is planning the first manned mission to Mars for the 2030s. There, they'll be setting up a permanent space base, and when they return, they'll be taking Curiosity and Perseverance back along with our potential fossils. For the simulation, they had to understand what that kind of isolation is going to do to a crew. You're going to be gone for at least two years, and longer, that's only the trip there and back. Participants are paid $60,000 and stay in a 1,700 square foot tiny home in Texas. Here, they spend a year doing exactly what they would do on Mars. They run spacewalks, maintain the facility, and perform experiments just like they would if they were actually on our red planet. They live in near complete isolation, with only three other crew members for company. They have no physical human contact. And no, this is not the Olympic Village. There are some things you're not allowed to do. They are, however, allowed to have video conversations with family, but only recorded and with a 20 minute delay. As you can imagine, making sure people don't get all cabin fever on each other is really important. Those who spent the last year there have said that social isolation was difficult, as well as extreme boredom. In addition to just missing being able to breathe real air, they were also plagued with a general sense of ennui. Except for one guy, a engineer said that he could have just spent another year there, fine. All in all, the first simulation was successful, and you can participate too if you want to. You must be of good health, have a degree in STEM, and maybe hate our planet so much you want to leave.